Good evening and salutations, my BNB fans. So, if you watched the episode, you know who won. It was Rich, and I'm going to be honest, it's not like I didn't see that coming. Um, this show has a way of being predictable. Part of me was kind of bummed by it, but the other part of me understands. I mean, he learned from the hell, and it would just make sense that he would take everything that he learned and craft it into something, um, you know, with his own skill and, and just make it better. So I'm not really surprised by that. I already know it's going to wind up happening, and I, I think at this point you do too. They're going to make it where... They're going to lie to Eric and, and said that he won until he finds out eventually and then it's going to crush him. RJ had to sit there, you know, at the, at the talking to Brooke and letting her know that Eric is dying. They went to Ridge and they went up telling Ridge and RJ felt like garbage. And here's my whole thing. I know some people, you know, have been sitting there saying that, you know, it's Eric's diagnosis and... You know, he has a right to his privacy and tell people who he wants to tell. But here's the thing. Here's the thing that, that that really bothers me. And this is the reason why I sit there and say it's a very selfish thing to do. Because this whole conversation, and, you know, I know that Rich was upset with, Eric, with, with RJ for not telling him. And I know, you know, RJ was, was guilt-written with not telling Rich that his dad died. And my whole, you know, his dad is dying. My whole thing is that Eric could have saved him so much time and so much emotional turmoil by just telling them the truth, okay? They shouldn't have had to actually go through this. Rich shouldn't have to feel guilty for winning this fashion contest. He sat there, he was like, I did all this and my dad is dying, you know? He would have had a completely and utterly different attitude if he would have knew the truth. Okay, so all those feelings that wind up happening shouldn't have happened if he just would have told the truth. And that's the reason why I feel that when people don't say anything about their, you know, their conditions and stuff like that, and they don't tell their family, and the family wind up missing out on time, they have these emotions that they shouldn't be having, and it can all have just been avoided if they just would have told the truth. That's my issue with people who, you know, in his position that don't that don't sit there and tell the truth because all that emotion could have been avoided. All of it could have been avoided. I wonder how Carter's is going to sit there and take it. You know, Donna's worried about him at this point. You know, she doesn't want him. Um, she doesn't want Eric work, working himself up. He's not. You know, he is. <clears throat> He's losing it over the fact that he didn't know if he won or if he lost. And he's taking this, this challenge so, I mean, it's so personal. I mean, obviously it's personal, but it's like he's taking in where it's like, if he doesn't win it, then everything is over, you know? And it's unfortunate because it's in, in reality, he should be sitting there taking that time, being with his family and just, you know, spending their last time together. But instead he is so focused and so driven on this contest that is eating him alive to a point where he doesn't, you know, he's being impatient about even waiting for news. I don't know. I didn't want to sit there and make this a super long video, which with BNB, it's it's like it's <laughs> it's never usually that long. But it was definitely an interesting episode. And like I said in my um live stream early, my dad was watching it. Okay, he he was probably forced to watch it because he was with his friend. So I'm going to sit there and I'm telling him the news that he went up, um, you know, Ridge went up winning. But um, I don't know, it'd be kind of interesting if my dad actually does start watching. I said, listen, out of the four of them, b and the easiest one to watch. It's 18 minutes long. Um, he can kind of catch up to that show pretty easy. And... Katie also knows that that um, that Luna knows about the whole thing. Now the family knows. Now the family knows. I just, you know, watching that cliffhanger today was like, it wasn't even really so much a cliffhanger. It's like, you know what's going to wind up happening. You know what's going to wind up happening. Anyway, that's just my review, my thoughts on the episode. Um, 
Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I want to thank you for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.